Okay, this video is to show you a quick tutorial on how to use Tiny G's homing uh, switch ports to zero out your Z axis when milling PCBs. Frankly, you could use this trick in other ways by maybe using a PCB circuit board, which you know the exact width of, to get the perfect Z zero position without doing much work. So the the magic starts by soldering on a piece of wire to your PCB anywhere. Uh, I just kind of picked a junk spot. And then uh, an alligator clip here to connect to the bit. And this really will work with any bit because pretty much they're all metal and conduct electricity. And then you run it over to your tiny G to the Z min port. Let's see if I can get that in focus for you. Sorry about that. No. Uh, either way, you kind of can tell what your Z min port is. There we go. Uh, I don't have any other switches, uh, homing switches hooked up because I just have never really needed them, but this one sure comes in handy. Okay, so now that we've got that connected, um, I'm going to go ahead and issue the command. Notice that in TGFX, I'm actually at a pretty high Z position. So I'm going to jog it down just by using the uh, the minus key while holding shift. And it's getting closer to what I want. Let's get it close. And the reason is that the, um, the G28 command runs pretty slow. So I'm going to go ahead and show you. I'm going to issue G28.2 Z0 and let's watch it and enter. There, perfect Z0. Uh, it touched the copper PCB, it completed the circuit and then uh, Tiny G did it a little back off until the circuit was disconnected again Keep that in mind because I had to figure that out. It's sort of a two-step process. Complete the circuit and then disconnect the circuit and then it's done. And I'm at a perfect Z0. Now I'll show you that if you don't really like the, uh, you go to the axis motor settings and then Z axis. If you instead wanted to maybe back off a larger amount, you could do that. Uh, it searches, I have my mo my switch mode min set to homing only and then max disabled because I do not have a max kill, um, homing switch on this. And, you know, really what you're trying to do is find the minimum value to get your zero. So it searches at this 20 millimeter per minute, so really slow. And that's because I don't want my bit going into the copper and the PCB. I could break a bit. And then it gently backs off until the circuit's disconnected it maximum backs off that much, which really doesn't matter. Okay, so I'm going to apply that. And I'm going to run it again. So let's go back to the G code. And um, I'm going to just nudge around a little bit here. So let me get my Z higher. Okay, and then I'm going to, as you can see, it's higher up again. And now I'm going to um, issue this command again. And let's just see what happens. Nice and slow. So you see it, I don't know if you noticed it, but it backed off much further. And it zeroed it out after the back off. So really what you may want to do is actually set your back off to straight zero. Um, if you think about it though, you're kind of pushing in the PCB, you're pushing the copper into the FR4 a little bit. So you almost got to kind of do a judgment call on what absolute zero really is. So let's try this again. And I'm going to pull my Z back up. 
We'll, we'll bring it down a little bit just to give it a little bit of room. Okay, now let's issue the command again. And just look this time for the back off being really almost non existent. And we will hit enter now. Just a really slight. So I really should be at perfect zero there. I have found, though, that I kind of like um, a tiny bit of a back off, like 0.1 millimeter. So hopefully you enjoyed that tutorial and you um, find yourself zeroing out your PCBs with uh, almost no work now.